I am going to show you how you can set up custom camera views in any aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator in 8 very quick and easy steps. Step 1. Load a flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the aircraft that you want to set up the custom views in. 2. Open settings and head into controls. From here you want to go to keyboard profile and search in the search bar to camera. At the cockpit camera section, you want to set the safe custom camera 0 through 9 to control and the numpad key. To do this, to click on start scanning, you press the control key and the numpad key. Then you validate it and it should be saved. Make sure to set the correct number to the correct numpad key. Here for example I set numpad 9 to save ca custom camera 9. You want to do the same? At load custom camera, I set numpad 9 to load custom camera 9. Once again, this is very important, otherwise you will lose the overview. Make sure to press F11 and apply and save this. After which you head into the file explorer, go to the main Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, click on local catch, sim objects, airplane and click on your airplane, which in my case is the fly-by-wire A320neo. From here you want to open the camera settings. Uh, right click on the file and open with notepad. Then something like this will open and you have to go to the initial XYZ axis, change the 0 to negative 5 and make sure to save it using Ctrl S or in the top left. Then you want to restart the flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator and when you reload you should end up outside of the cockpit. From here you can move around and set any custom camera you like using the control at numpad keys. For example, I move to the wing and fly by wire has made these boxes in which a real aircraft is simulated. So here I set up the view, I zoom a bit, I press control and the numpad key and I'm done. Then I move on to the next window and I do the exact same. Press control and the numpad key, another numpad key, then the previous one and you move on to the next one. In total you can set up 9 views. Don't forget, I recommend you to at least put one cockpit view. And I, put all, I also put a view for the overhead panel, the flight computer and the tablet. So that leaves me with 6 views which I can set up. You can for example also set up a tail view like this. Simply by moving up on the tail and pressing control on the numpad key. And if you want to you can also move down to the gear and set up a view there. The possibilities are unlimited. So that is it for today. I hope I have helped you. If you have any questions uh, or something uh, fails, please leave them below in the comments. I am more than happy to help you with it. If you are wondering how I get these amazing colors on my Microsoft Flight Simulator, make sure to check out this video right here. And that was all guys. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your flying and see you at the next video.